<clears throat> okay, everybody. Um, this is Joseph talking. Um, I'm trying a little tutor um video to see if I can make an LP for this. Now, I'm sorry the quality isn't the best. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me or the game, but I shall find out eventually. But hey, what do we see here? We have Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <clears throat> this was a cult classic back in the days. Um, came out in 1993. Was a game I could not beat for the life of me as a kid. Um, I didn't actually beat this game originally until, well, just a couple of months ago. Or maybe a year ago, something like that. I've lost the track of past the time. But anyways, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Konami and LucasArts. Uh, basically, the object of this game is to, for those of you who don't know, you go through and you rescue neighbors with either one of these two characters. Now, the character in uh, Blonde is named Zeke, and right here we have Julie. Now, typically, I play as Julie. I'm not a big fan of Zeke, and Julie just seems, I just seem to do better with Julie. So, um, <clears throat> this probably won't be the original start of the game. My 3DS is almost dead, but let's just do, uh, brief tutorial just to see the first couple levels, I think. Uh, I will try to get this up whenever I can, and I'll start the actual project if this works after my 3DS charges. Because it's nearly dead. So I apologize if the quality is not the best. But anyways, we have zombies at my neighbors. These people right here you see me rescuing, well, they're neighbors. You have a various assortment of items and stuff you can pick up. Uh, each enemy has its own particular weakness to an item. Uh, some of these items would kill enemies with one hit that wouldn't kill other enemies with one hit. Uh, I don't have anything right now, Shaw, because right now we're just facing zombies, and they're basically killed by one hit with anything except two items that you can use. Now, on the left, we have your weapons. These are what you would use for your offensive stuff. On the right is your healing and your potions and whatever, and your keys. Um, typically when I play this, I like to walk around with um, a health kit and a med and a uh, weapon. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, the first level is not too spooky. Um, simple, easy level. However, if you're playing this starting off your kid, you're not exactly sure where things are going, you could very well die in this area over here. Um, if this video quality is not too bad, I will consider uploading on a more or less regular basis. I mean, I don't exactly own a computer, so I had to borrow computers from, like, friends and whatnot. But yeah, um... If I had gotten another weapon or another potion, I could have gotten in here, but since I can't get in here right now, I won't even do it. Now for this um, LP, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get 100%, so hopefully I, I can do it. See, I don't have save states, so if I fail, I have to start all over. And yeah. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Here's your neighbor screen. At the end, you get a victim save bonus if you rescued all ten of them. Um, all ten of them are able to be rescued in every level. There is one level later on in the game that you can't rescue all the neighbors because one of the neighbors is inaccessible. But more on that one later. Now, see those bazookas I just picked up? Those are what I would use to get into hedges. Um, this guy right here in the pool, he can't be killed by anything yet. This person right here, girl on the trampoline, nothing can kill her. There's not a single enemy, boss, or whatever in this game that you will run across that can kill her. Um, yeah, I had to shoot that one because... 
those two I just rescued, that teacher and that explorer over there, they're relatively high risk. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing for here. I'm not, I've never LP'd before. So, I'm just going to wing it. And, consequently, my first LP probably isn't going to be the best. Um, but hey, we'll see what happens. Now, I am playing this on the Wii. Uh, it was downloaded on to the Wii network, uh, from the Wii network, not too long ago. Oh, as you see, I walked away off screen because, well, he was running up towards his neighbor. Uh, if you run off screen for certain, um, enemies, they will despawn. There are exceptions to a few enemies that will not despawn no matter how far you walk off. But, of course, we'll get to them later. Now you saw me as I blasted open here. Now you saw the hedge like this in the first one. Well, there is a bonus behind that that you can't access unless you, you know, have a bazooka or a monster potion. That's basically the only way to access it. Unless you start on the level before the bonus level that takes you to, which I probably will do on the actual thing. This is, like I said, just a trial thing to see how it works. But yeah, simple. Yeah, I'm not too talkative at the moment. It's because it's after 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this. But I'll put this up in my other two videos that I plan uploading sometime soon. And I'm open to any opinions on how I can improve. Now, if you're playing this on the Wii, you see I have this radar up. This radar will tell you where your neighbors are at. And the way to read the radar is, well, you get closer to them, and they pop up. When they're directly in the center, they're pretty much on top of you. That's pretty much it. I don't understand why the radar blinks. But I think it has something to do with the fact that there's two on screen. <clears throat> oh, and also, the bad thing about having it like this is I am only allowed to do 10 minute video recordings. So, I'd like to be able to do all parts in 10 minutes, but there are some parts that just can't be done in that time. Like for these first four levels that I have, it's not hard to get these in four minutes at all, uh, ten minutes either. I'm just toying around with stuff and seeing what's up. Now, I threw that pop there. Those, um, I'm sure you heard them earlier. The, they're called Evil Dolls. Uh, evil Doll Tommy, I think is what they're called. They laugh and well, the colloquial term to refer to them is Chucky Dolls. And that's it. They are killed in one shot by your pop, which is what I just threw at them when I came down to rescue that, um, baby at the bottom of the screen. The thing with zombies ain't my neighbors. It takes me back as a child. I mean, it was a phenomenal game. There's 55 levels in this whole game. And, well, a lot of fun to be had, a lot of hours to play. For one sit-through playthrough, which is probably what I will do since I am playing on the Wii, I can make like I guess what you would call like a safe state. Basically what does happen is it allows me to quit in the middle of a game and then start back up on the point I left off at. And I do not think I'm going to be able to um, finish this in the time. Now ordinarily for this I would go for no bazooka fire bonus, all chainsaw destroy bonus, mass destruction. However, I don't exactly have the time for that. I mean, I'm looking at 9.30 right now as I speak. And I'm going to have to end this real soon. But hey. Uh, I'll just see how the quality is. There's a good chance I may have to uh, re-record. Or find a better way to record. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, and to kill these chainsaw maniacs, basically all you have to do... Spray them with a the fire extinguisher and then leave.
talk to you guys later.